All right, thanks a lot, Marquina. And as we head into the weekend, another reminder for dog owners to always be on alert. Look at this new video showing right here that coyote, how quickly it can jump a fence and snatch your pet. KCAL's Rachel Kim spoke to the owners of the dog about that frightening encounter, and she got some tips on keeping your furry friends safe. Five and a half year old Matcha has reason to be nervous after a scary encounter with a coyote. We've never seen one in our backyard ever, not even on our cameras. But on Tuesday around 11.30 a.m., the cameras at Nancy's Woodland Hills home caught a coyote snatching her mini golden doodle, then trying to run away with Matcha, who put up a fight. Nancy, who doesn't want her last name used, heard the commotion and ran outside. He caught her um, by her neck. There's a puncture wound. Took her up back and tried to jump back over the fence. Um, and with all my screaming, I think he dropped her. Matcha is now recovering from her injuries, but Nancy is still shaken up. It's pretty overwhelming, obviously very scary and shocking. It wasn't easy for this coyote to make its way into Nancy's backyard. Take a look. It had to get over this wall, which is at least 20 feet high, and as you can see, is covered with brush. Now, once the coyote got inside, Nancy tells us it was very aggressive. It's a little unsettling because, you know, you want to feel safe in your own backyard, especially since we don't live near any mountainous areas, per se. You wouldn't think that a coyote by itself would be roaming a street. That would be um, typical expected behavior. That's how coyotes hunt. Um, they're very good at scaling walls. Um, they like to dig under fences a lot of the times. Um, and it's really difficult to um, use barriers like fences and walls as your only protection. California Department of Fish and Wildlife officials say don't be surprised to see coyotes in your neighborhood because they adapt well to urban areas. They say coyotes are active all year and any time of day. In the fall, the young will often disperse into new areas. And so we've got juveniles that aren't really uh, pros at hunting yet. So they'll tend to go after easier prey, such as unprotected pets. Barboza says pet owners should keep their small pets and their food indoors, not let them outside alone, and install a spiky fence topper, which will prevent coyotes from scaling over it. And if you see one on your property, make loud noises to scare them away, like Nancy did. We just all need to be really vigilant and aware. We were very lucky, and we hope that no one else has to experience that. Rachel Kim, KCAL News. Keep the